Hello everyone, welcome back to Ramon at Home. I'm so excited you're here today and I hope you're doing fantastic. In this video, I'm going to share with you not one, not two, but five Christmas decorations ideas done with all Dollar Tree items. These are done on a budget and I really hope that you like them. This is a compilation of some of the best Christmas decorations ideas that I've done with Dollar Tree bought items for the holiday season and I cannot wait for you guys to check them out. We're doing a Christmas tree, we're doing a centerpiece, we're doing lanterns and wreaths and all of the DIYs for Christmas that you need to do with Dollar Tree store bought beautiful Christmas decorations. So if you are interested in how to make beautiful Christmas decorations with Dollar Tree items, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video and share with your friends and let them know what we're doing here at Mona Home. Now also, don't forget to check out my Decorate With Me series, and I'm gonna link all of that down below where I show you how to do the beautiful bowl, garland, the wreath, the centerpiece, the Christmas tree and the dining room tree. It is gem packed with beautiful Christmas decorations ideas. But if you want to do more of a budget or Dollar Tree uh, decorating this year, these are five of my favorite ideas. And we're gonna start with a beautiful small snowman wreath that I really think you're going to like. Let's watch. Okay, so for this project, I'm gonna show you how to create a beautiful and small wreath that is perfect for a storm door, for an apartment door, for a window, or even for the back of a chair in your home. And the things we're gonna need is this uh, wreath form from the dollar store. I'm gonna use two of these really cute picks from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna use two of these picks from the dollar store, and I'm gonna also use some of this ribbon from the dollar store as well as a wire to tie a ribbon and our scissors to do any cuttings and our hot glue gun. This is gonna be super simple. So basically I just want a little tail like this. You're going to go ahead and pinch right here, gather and pinch. Then you're gonna go under, then you're gonna pinch again. You're gonna twist. And the twisting is because you have some print in here. Then you're gonna go ahead and pinch again, twist one more time and one more time go under and just pinch right here and gather so we're going to do a four loop bow and i'm going to have two little tails then i'm going to grab my wire right here and i'm going to attach really tight and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to attach this right here to the wreath form on the back i'm going to put it upside down so i can twist as much as i can Super tight. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put the longer tail under and the shorter one over. Then you wanna do, what you wanna do is give your bow a little fluff, making sure that all of the little bows are fluffed up like this. This one is too long, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it just a little bit so it staggers better. Thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this video. I'm having so much fun sharing these ideas with you. And I cannot wait to come up with more. So once you have your bow fluffed up like this, what you need to do is you need to bring this dollar store pick. And what I like about it is that it has already ornaments and berries and pine cones with glitter, and they're only a dollar, which is my favorite thing. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through the form and you're gonna push as close as you can to the bow. You can add some glue at this point if you'd like. I'm gonna do the same with this one right here. So I'm gonna go through the form and I'm just gonna go ahead and push like this. And you wanna fluff all of these items. They have a wire and just lift them up. Full of this and all of these beautiful things. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this cute little pick and I'm gonna go ahead and go through right here. And you know the easiest way to do this is I'm gonna go ahead and grab my wire cutters. And because the stem is so thin, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a cut right there. And then what I wanna do is add some glue. This glue's been sitting there for a while, so I'm gonna just go ahead and add some of the glue there. Then open this ornament and just insert this guy right here, close to it. And look how it just adds that sparkle. How adorable. Then I'm gonna cut this one as well and add a little bit of glue. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this guy right here over on this side, like this. How cute. 
So I love the way this looks like this, but what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and add this guy right here. So the way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna grab one of my wires and I'm gonna add the wire right here to the hanger of the ornaments and I'm gonna bring it all the way back. I'm just gonna let him hang right here like so. Kind of make sure that it kind of dangles a little bit so it, it goes down like this. All right, so after doing a little bit of fluffing, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna show you a trick on how to accessorize your door, so stay tuned. All right, everyone, so the best way to dress up your door when you're hanging a wreath is to cut two strips of ribbon like this that are going to fit into our wreath hanger form. And as you guys can see, this is a little too long, so I'm gonna cut probably about an inch. You wanna do some measuring before you get to the next step. So that is perfect. So now I'm gonna get my hanger over to the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring my hot glue gun. And what I wanna do is I wanna do first a little dot right here of hot glue, making sure that this guy is working. And then you wanna go ahead and just go all the way down to the other end. And then you wanna go ahead and go to the other side and go all the way down to the next end. And then you wanna go ahead and put this one on top of this one. So basically a no sew sleeve. You wanna press down gently so you don't burn yourself like this. We're gonna let it hang for a few seconds while it dries and I'll show you what it looks like on the door. Okay, so once that is all dried up, all you need to do is you're going to grab your reef hanger and you're going to feed the sleeve all the way down. And look how easy it is. Just make sure that you gently do it. And so now you're disguising your wreath hanger and let me show you real quick. All right, everyone, so for this fabulous Dollar Tree centerpiece using the Christmas trees, what we're going to need is obviously two of the mini Christmas trees in the green. We're going to use two zip ties. We're gonna use four of these picks from the dollar store, and these are my favorite this year. We're going to use one of these bushes of the berries in a bow that I already pre-made. So let me clear this out real quick and we're gonna get started. We're also gonna need our hot glue gun. So I'm gonna put all of my tools to the side while I take these Christmas trees out of the package. And you guys have seen the centerpieces done, but I'm still gonna show you the Ramon at home uh, version. You guys know that I like to use Dollar Tree items and make them look a little bit more upscale. Um, so you guys can look absolutely beautiful. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this over here to the side. So the first thing you need to do is take the stands out of it. And I also love the fact that they come with the little stands. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and cross them like this. And by using my zip ties, what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna secure them right here by using two of them. So that way we make sure that they don't move and they don't go anywhere. So basically just zip tie these two guys together as close as you can and pull as tight as you can. And like I said, you wanna do two of them just to make sure that they don't shift. If you do one, then it will shift. But if you do two like this, trust me when I say it is not going anywhere. All right, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and first cut the excess, look here. And then I start the fluffing process. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and fluff out this will look so pretty with some tall taper candles. What I want you to do also is just give it some dimension. Don't do all flat. Also put some up because it is a centerpiece, so it has to be up and down. And if we pull them up, then when we put the tapers down on the table, it helps to disguise that taper. And I will show you once I get it all finished. I'll tell you what it looks like with my taper. Some of them come like that. Save these parts because we can use those to attach to other items. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a minute to fluff this 
and I will be right back with you guys. All right, you guys, so now that our mini trees are all fluffed out and it looks pretty full, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and actually put it over here to the side and I'm going to bring two of the picks that I love from the dollar store. And I'm going to go ahead and crisscross them like this and also using one of our trusty zip ties. You know, I cannot live without the zip ties. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and attach these guys together like this or like so there goes another like so <laughs> oh, i'm so trying to get away from it but sometimes you know it just it's just because i'm a self-taught english speaker once you you know once you learn a war you cannot let go of it all right and our bow has these two pipe cleaners that we attach with so what i'm going to do so i'm going to go ahead and attach my bow i'm going to fill it around and very tightly just spin it around okay once you have it like this, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and flap all of your greens and make sure, you know, some of these ornaments are hiding. Make sure that you pull them up over the bow. You can pull this pine cone over here, over the bow. And just go ahead and fluff this bow. Make sure the tails are showing. Those ornaments, those berries are showing. They're in a wire, so pull them up like that. All right. So once we have this done like this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my centerpiece back into the picture. And now I'm going to go ahead and attach this, the bow into the centerpiece and very tightly. Once again, you want to do this very tightly just to make sure that it goes as flat on the centerpiece. You're going to go ahead and secure like that. And now you can go ahead and fluff again. Make sure those tails are showing. Make sure I'm going to bring because one tail is this way, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the other one all the way over and bring it over here so it's more cohesive. So I like the way this looks already. However, over here is empty. So what I did is I went ahead and put, to get, put apart two of these picks and I just took them apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my hot glue gun and then I'm gonna start gluing some of these pieces, like if you can see, this is like a, a brush pine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right here. And that really helps to fill in. And then I have this really pretty cedar. So basically just add a little bit of glue to it. And then you can go ahead and poke it in somewhere. And I recommend you poke it like this, like sideways, so that way it is more visible. And then also what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and balance what you're doing. So basically what you do on one side, you wanna do on the other side. So I added one of the brush ones over here. So then I went ahead and added one of the brush ones over here. Then I added a cedar over on this side. Well, now I'm gonna go ahead and add a cedar onto the other side to balance it off. So that way you, what is going on over here? It's also going on over here. All right, so this one also comes with this cute little berry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some glue into my berry. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach this guy right here towards the end. Just making sure that I hide that stem. Then because I put one over here, we're going to go over to the other side. We're going to put some glue into our berry. And this is called balancing um, your arrangement. I don't know how many of you guys know, but I worked as a florist for over 10 years and that's where I learned all of my tricks about balancing. So then I have, it also came with some of the same um, pine greenery. So basically I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it in to kind of fill it in. Not so much because it needs it, but those Christmas trees were only a dollar, but look what you can do with a dollar. If you pull apart another pick and look, it just helps you to really fill it in and it's going to look absolutely gorgeous for under $8. Can you guys believe that? $8, you can create something gorgeous like this. And I cannot wait to show you what it looks like on my table. All right, so then I have some of these ornaments and they come with a wire. So basically, I'm just gonna cut that wire out and I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue into the ornament and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue them in to some of my pine bristles like this. 
and secure them. Go ahead and hang on to it for a second. And remember, while you're doing one side, you have got to go and do on the other side. That's why it's so important to work with equal amounts because when you're balancing, you kind of need that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one out. And I'm gonna go ahead and add one more right, put it right here. Let your eye dictate where it needs it. Okay, now I have another big one over here, so I'm gonna cut that wire out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of glue. I'm gonna add this guy right here. Then I have some of these pine cones that are really, really pretty and glittered. I want this guy to be a little bit more in a prominent spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and lift my bow right here and I'm gonna put it right here. And that's turning out really cute. Now I also have some of these berries from the bundle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull the stem out and just keep the berries. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue. Now here's something I want you to know. So this is our core right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start right here and then I'm going to go across from my core and I'm gonna do one right here. Then I'm gonna get a few more just to show you one more time. Then I'm gonna do the opposite. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go right here and glue it in and then I'm gonna go opposite sides and I'm gonna glue in yet another one just by adding some glue. So if you guys can see, it balanced the whole centerpiece very well. And then I have two left. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and extend that by adding all the way to the end. And that way is going to look so much better. Look, now we're extending to one side and we're gonna go ahead and extend to the other side, right here. And just like that, you guys, you have a gorgeous, gorgeous centerpiece for your Christmas table and under $8. How about that? By the way, have you subscribed to this channel? If you are new to the channel, I really would like for you to consider subscribing and don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you are notified for all of the upcoming videos. We are still have a whole month of decorating and I cannot wait for you guys to see. So that was a small wreath that I really enjoyed putting together, but now I'm gonna share with you how to decorate a beautiful Christmas tree with all Dollar Tree bud ornaments. Let's watch. All right, everyone, so I wanna start by mentioning a few things that you need to get done before you start decorating your Christmas tree. Now, the very first thing is that you need to set up your tree and fluff it, and I'll already show you how to do that on our previous tree decorating with the snowman theme. But for this theme, we already have it all set up. It's all fluffed out, the lights are working. Make sure that all of those lights are working. And then the other thing is get all your materials close to you. I have gathered all of my ornaments and all my picks and ribbons right here on this tab that way i can just continue to go on with the decorating of the tree without having to be looking for the items that i want to put in including your tools your wire cutters your scissors everything that you need just put it right next to you all right so the very first thing we're going to do for our dollar tree theme is going to be put some of this um deco material into the tree and there's no rhyme or reason for this the only thing that i do want to let you know is that you want to put as much as you can and the reason why is because that's going to give it this going to cover the holes on it and it's going to give it a lot of texture and as you guys can see like i have already taken it out of the roll and all you have to do is go ahead and fluff it and just stick it in these big holes and these big gaps right here that's where you want to stick it as further in and then also you want to go ahead and fluff 
And like I mentioned, you want to make sure that you put as much as you can from this material. So I'm going to go ahead and add another roll. Once again, I'm just going to drop it on the floor. And then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start from this side now. Now, I do think that this deco material really covers the gaps, as you guys can see. And you don't have to worry about the rhyme or the reason of this step. Just make sure that you cover as much as you can from this gaps and as you guys can see i'm just literally just pushing it into the tree um, because this material really sticks to your trees and reeds it's designed to grab on to your designs so i'm basically just pushing it in as far as i can and then go ahead and give it a fluff open it up so it really covers your tree and as you guys can see two rolls so far i'm going to do a third one but I'm gonna concentrate towards the bottom of it. I'm gonna start right here. And you wanna make sure that you cover all of those empty spots just by giving it a little give, pushing it in like this. That's gonna really help cover some of those gaps. And you really are not going to see much of this anyways because we're gonna put so many ornaments and other ribbons on it. But this is what really helps you cover your gaps. And like I said, I wanna concentrate right here on the bottom because that seems to be the part where we forget to decorate the most. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add right here. Let me unravel it. Thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this series. We've done so many projects and I've had so much fun showing you guys how to decorate your Christmas trees, your mantles, your wreaths. We're about to do centerpieces, more centerpieces. All right, so, so far I have all of my deck material and it's just weaved in as far as I can into my tree. So the next thing I wanna do is, I'm gonna bring out this ribbon. This is also from the dollar store. This sheds a lot of glitter, so just drop it on the floor. Start right here on the top. And I've chosen this gold one. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little poof right there. Twist, a little poof, twist. Yet another poof right here, twist, poof, and twist. I'm gonna go all the way down right here. Just by giving a give, you're really creating that really pretty wavy motion. Then I have another one over here. And these are only a dollar, so these you get a lot of ribbon and a lot of look for your dollar. So I really recommend it. Like I said, it sheds a lot of glitter, but what would Christmas be without glitter, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and drop it on the floor. And I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna grab this and twist. Then I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little poof and twist. Give it yet another one right here and twist. I want that ribbon to really come out so it shows because once we add the ornaments, you don't wanna lose your show ribbon. This is what I call the show ribbon because it's the showiest out of all of them. All right, so I'm gonna add it right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add right here. Then I'm gonna create yet another loop and I'm gonna add right here. And if there's a tail at the end, we just dot tail it. And then I have another one, but this time it's in silver. So remember, this is a glam look and we're trying to add all of the metals like silver, gold, and rose gold. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this guy up. I'm gonna let it drop on the floor. And I'm gonna start right here in the middle. Right here, just create a little loop and twist. Create yet another loop right here and twist it in. Yet another loop right here and twist it in. Now this is where our scissors come in handy. And like I told you, I like to have all my tools. I'm gonna dovetail right here. You have to have all of your tools at the ready. Then I have a little bit left of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go up here I'm gonna add this leftover ribbon because you don't wanna pitch anything. You know, we paid so much money for our materials. You wanna make sure that you use all of the ribbon. All right, so, so far, so good. So the next step will be to add our picks. And I have found these really cute picks from the dollar store. They're glittered uh, ferns and they're just so cute. So what I recommend is just go ahead and open them up and I'm gonna start right here. And that really gives it that cascading designer look. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go on a triangle motion. 
So I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna stick this one right here. And you wanna make sure they pop out. Don't stick them all the way in. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to that side, more of a ladder motion. I went like this here. They wanna go ahead and go down a little bit, stick it right there. Then I'm gonna go over to the other side. Once again, remove all of these tags because you don't want your Christmas tree to have any tags of any sort. And then go ahead and open it, fluff it. And then so I went boom, boom, boom. So we're gonna go back to this side right here, right? And then I'm gonna go over to this side. I have one more. And these are only a dollar, so I really recommend you load up on this. You get a lot of product, a lot of look for only one dollar, but you really do have to make sure that you open them up like this and then go ahead and insert this into your tree. If you have to, you can also um, twist tie it, uh, but at this point, they stay pretty good. So I love the way this is looking. However, um, I did show you how to make these ornament garlands, and here's a gold version of it. If you guys haven't seen the video on how to make these garlands, I'm gonna link it up. It's super easy, and you can just do it with all leftover ornaments. So I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna grab one of my bristles and I'm gonna give it a twist. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna push in as far as I can right here. I'm gonna grab one of the bristles and just basically twist it in. And I'm gonna go over here. And you can make these garlands as long as you want. You can make as many as you want. It is a super fun project and look, it really gives you a lot of real estate. So then I also show you how to make these clusters and I have made some of these gold clusters right here. And what I wanna do with this, look how I'm gonna stick my hand up here. I wanna go ahead and stick my hand because I want to pull. And then with that pipe cleaner, you just secure it into one of the bristles. And that is another secret I can give you. You don't wanna have it just out here. You wanna make sure that, look, you stick your hand in here as far as you can, and then you pull on it. And that way it goes in to the tree and it gives you a cluster inside of the tree. And I have done many of these ones before. You guys have seen them on my wreaths. You have seen them on my fireplaces. I think you even seen them on my uh, centerpieces. And it is prep work, what I call it. But you know what? It really, look how fast and easy it makes your job. You basically just twist. And you want to leave the whole a pipe cleaner because that way if you have to go further in you can but look how beautiful that just like shows a whole bunch of ornaments instead of having dotted ornaments which to me there's nothing worse than having just dotted ornaments on a tree this case right here makes it look more designer like and also helps you fill in all of the gaps look just by adding one cluster you basically just save yourself all that time oh it looks so pretty all right i have a few more of these ornament clusters. So I, I notice that I'm going that way and this way. That is balancing my tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it right here. And then also you don't wanna forget about the back of your tree. So you wanna repeat all of the steps that you're doing on the front. You wanna bring them all the way to the back, like that. All right, so, so far that's what we have. So the next step will be to add our showstopper ornaments. And all of these ornaments came from the Dollar Tree. Let me get ready for them. All right, you guys, so I have chosen a selection of these Dollar Tree ornaments, like this guy right here. He's a snowflake and he's only a dollar. These are the ornaments that you wanna put forward uh, and you wanna see them everywhere you go around the tree. And my secret that I can give you with this is just go ahead and place them so they hang like that and you can really see them, but don't be afraid to adjust them. And then the other thing, notice that I'm doing all of the same ornaments at the same time, because that way if you only have five, that'll help you distribute the ornament evenly into the tree. So just go ahead and put that ornament in there and let it hang down. And like I said, just go ahead and do all of the ones, all of the same at once. So I have yet another one and he's stuck on this reindeer. By the way, you guys, Thumbs up for Dollar Tree stepping up the game on the ornament game. They, I cannot believe these ornaments are only a dollar and I absolutely love them. Look, you get all this look for only one dollar and it really makes your tree look like a designer tree. So I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and put it right there. Let it hang. And I have one more of that. And so notice once again that I'm going in and out from the tree 
Uh, that way I can balance it out. I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy right here, right? All right, so then I have this little beautiful um, snowflake that I also got from Dollar Tree, and I think I only got three of them. So you wanna make sure that you want them on a very prolific spot. So they are seen from everywhere. I'm gonna add this guy right here, like so. And I have another one over here. If you guys are enjoying this season, don't forget to recommend to your friends to come and check it out. I'm having so much fun showing you guys all these tricks of the trade. Um, and then also don't forget to follow me on Instagram for daily updates and stories. We'll be having so much fun showing you some of the behind the scenes where I'm gonna cross over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this guy right here. All right, so now I have this beautiful gold with a mirror that also came from the dollar store for a dollar. These are so pretty. So I wanna make sure that I put them on a very prolific spot because they really will help you catch the light. And don't be afraid to nestle them in. I have yet another one over here. And as you guys can see, just with Dollar Tree items, you can have a gorgeous, gorgeous tree. You do not have to spend hundreds of dollars. And the total cost for this tree transformation is under $80, you guys, plus a tree. I did not spend more than $80 on all of this stuff. So for under $80, you too can have a gorgeous designer Christmas tree if you just follow all these steps. So basically ornaments, picks, and ribbon, even with this tribute into the tree can make anyone's tree like a designer tree. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy over here. And like I said, don't forget to, if your tree is gonna be seen from the back as well, don't forget to distribute all the way to the back. At this point, to finish the back, I will probably spend another probably 20, 15 to $20. Uh, and then that way we can have it all the way around. But because this tree is going to be in a corner, then the back doesn't really need to be that fully finished. Then we have this reindeer, and I love this reindeer guy. So cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and add him into my tree. And as you guys can see, he's getting pretty full with ornaments and ribbons. And I'm trying now, I'm fighting to find a spot to put my reindeer. So I'm gonna put him right here. And as you guys can see, it really catches the light. And this look is so glam, so gorgeous. I have one more and I think that's all we have for today. I'm gonna pull this guy out, free him and I'm gonna add him right here. All right, well, this is our Dollar Tree look. As you can see, with under $80, you can create a beautiful designer look. I also love the way this turned out. It is super glamorous, it is so snowy. It has so many ornaments, and I love it. That tree turned out absolutely gorgeous and I absolutely love the way this turned out. It is super affordable to have a gorgeous Christmas tree with all Dollar Tree purchased ornaments. You guys, decorating with Dollar Tree is not for everybody, but these are some of my favorite ideas that I want to share with you. So if you are on a budget, Dollar Tree is the place to go for your ornaments this year. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, you guys, so for this project, what we're going to need is two of these Dollar Tree wreath forms. We're gonna need three of this tinsel garlands from the dollar store, I bought three of them. Then what I'm going to need is one of, the, one of these snowman 
uh, forms from the Dollar Tree as well. I'm going to need a few packs of these ornaments that came from the dollar store and some berries that I had left over from other projects. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually gonna go ahead and start by removing this um, hanger and tag from the snowman. And then also I'm gonna grab two pipe cleaners right here. And what I want to do is I wanna kind of decide where I want my wreath to go. So because the snowman is looking to his left, I'm gonna put him right here. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and flip it around and decide where my hangers need to be. So I need one right there and one right here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna remove this and put it to the side over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna staple this guy right here. All right, now that I have my staples and my pipe cleaners to attach it to my wreath, I'm gonna go ahead and put him to the side so we can get going on the wreath. So what I'm going to do is first of all, remove him from the tag. And I keep on telling you, they put these tags at the dollar store. Dollar Tree people, if you're watching, make sure you don't put this uh, so tightly. All right, so what I'm going to do is, I wanna mention first that I attach two of the wreath forms to make it look more like a donut shape. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and start just by attaching right here. This is wire, so all you have to do is do a knot right here and pull. Some of it will come off, but that's fine because what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sort all this around this wreath until we fully cover it. So I think you get the idea. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this donut shaped wreath with this tinsel and I'll be right back with you. All right, everyone. So once that we have all of our wreath cover on this beautiful garland, I love the way this turned out. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring my snowman back into the picture. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and find a place for him. And then I'm going to go ahead and tie it with the pipe cleaners all the way in the back and just make sure you do it very tightly. As you guys can see, it's super easy. Just give it two or three spins and secure it in place. And I could stop at this right now because I think it looks absolutely cute. However, I'm gonna keep going. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these frosted berries. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my hot glue gun right here. I'm gonna stick some glue just to make sure it really sticks. I'm gonna go ahead and insert this guy. You have to do it really quick because they really grab onto that material. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tip of this one right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue. And just make sure you insert it really quick into your wreath like that. Then I have some of these really pretty glitter berries and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same. Just add a little bit of glue, give them a little bend and insert that guy right there. I love the way this is turning out, but I cannot wait to add a little bit of ornaments to it. All right, so I'm gonna add that right there. So then I have these Dollar Tree ornaments and I'm just gonna put them right there in the center. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of glue, just a little silver touch. So I'm gonna add one right there. I'm gonna add one right here. And as you guys can see, it really like gets attached to the tinsel and I love it. All right, so then I'm gonna add one of these ones up here and I'm gonna add this silver one. Just be sure you press a little bit. I'm gonna add this cute little silver one in here. And then I have these other ones right here that I got from a past project. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this guy. Probably just add it right here. Make sure you press it down so it sticks. And I'm gonna add this one right in here. And all of these ornaments came from the dollar store. As you guys can see, this project is under $10 and it is super cute. All we have to do is just give it a try. All right, well, I'm gonna add this last ornament right here. And as you guys can see, this turned out super cute. Actually, you know what, I have one more of these glitter berry so I'm gonna grab a little glue I'm gonna go ahead and insert it right here like that and voila 
That is what our snowman tinsel wreath looks like. So I'm gonna put this in the door and show you what it looks like. For our next Christmas DIY, I figured I would show you how to decorate this cute little lantern. And this technique can be replicated for any lantern, any size this Christmas. The things we're gonna need is two of the dollar store picks with the silver ornaments. I'm gonna use a pre-made bow, two of the peppermint picks from Hobby Lobby. I'm also gonna use a candle with a remote. And if you don't have one of these ones, well, you should really invest because they come in handy really, really good. I'm gonna use one of these zip ties and my scissors to get it all put together. So let's get started real quick. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little swag for the top. And what I wanna do is I wanna measure right here to see how I want it to lay. So once I have it like how I want it to lay, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my zip tie that I moved and I don't know where I put this over here. And I'm gonna zip tie this together real quick as tight as I can. So having zip ties in your crafting stash is a must have and you can find them on Amazon or um, Home Depot for a whole bunch of them for next to nothing. So I really do recommend you invest on some of them. I cut the excess of it. I'm going to measure it one more time right here, making sure that you fluff every single item that has a wire in it so you get more bang for your buck. But I'm going to put that aside and so now what I want to do is I'm going to bring this bow right here and I already went ahead and put a long wire on it. Make sure you give it a cute little fluff. Then you're going to insert this bow right in the middle of your swag. And then, oops, you wanna go ahead and just spin it around like this so it's really tied onto your swag. Once you have that like that, what you need to do is go ahead and tie this to the lantern and tie it with your wire as tight as you can by spinning those wires together around just to make sure they really latches on to your lantern. And as you guys can see, there is a longer tail and I did that intentionally because I wanna bring that tail up to make that bow look more elaborate. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and circle this around this little ornament right here. And then you wanna make sure that that point flies away. And that way you got an extra bow like that. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing over here just by tucking it under the ornament. I have that like this. Oh, that is really cute. Perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some of these peppermint candy picks. And I'm gonna grab my hot glue gun. And I'm gonna add some glue to them right here to the bottom. And just go ahead and find a place and add those peppermint candies. And as you guys can see, it's very cohesive with the rest of our Christmas craft DIYs that we've done so far for this particular theme. I'm gonna add one more up here, like this, just blending them together. All right, so now what I wanna do is I'm gonna open the door of my, of my lantern, and I'm gonna stick my candle in here, put it right in the middle, and closing that door, fluffing my bows, I'm gonna turn my candle on like this. And just like that, you have a beautiful, cute little lantern decorated for the holidays. Okay, so I just wanna show you real quick the end result of this really cute lantern. And I just love the cohesiveness of the ribbons and the pigs along with the Christmas tree and the wreath and the little candle inside, like I mentioned to you before, if you don't have one of these little candles, well, they're really worth the investment. But what is also worth the investment is buying enough ribbon so you can have all of your projects done and have a really cohesive look this holiday season. What do you guys think? All right, you guys, well, that's all I have for today. And I really hope that you enjoyed this beautiful 
Christmas decorations ideas done with Dollar Tree items. I cannot wait to share more with you, but I really hope that these five DIYs are of your liking. If they are, be sure to give this video a thumbs up because it is free and it really helps the channel. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and don't forget to turn the notification bell on because you will not want to miss what's next coming here on the channel. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing and as always, you can watch more videos right now. Until next time. Bye.